Hi guys! Sa pagpapatuloy ng ating lecture video about heat transfer by conduction, sasagutan naman natin ngayon itong problem 1.1 from the 6th edition of Fundamentals of Heat and Mass Transfer. So, ito yung problem natin. The thermal conductivity of a sheet of rigid extruded insulation is reported to be 0.029 watts per meter per kelvin. The measured temperature difference across 20 mm thick sheet of material is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. So, ang question natin dito is, what is the heat flux through 2 meter by 2 meter sheet of insulation? And B, what is the rate of heat transfer through the sheet of insulation? So, illustrate muna natin yung given natin. No? So, meron tayong rigid sheet. So, let's say ito ang ating sheet dito. Then, given ang ating thermal conductivity, which is equal to 0.029 watts per meter per Kelvin. Okay? And then, in here, ang thickness ng ating sheet is equal to 20 millimeters. Okay? So, ang ating delta X is equal to 20 millimeter. And then, ang ating temperature difference is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. T1 minus T2 is equal to 10 degree Celsius. And in here, makikita natin na ang dimension ng ating sheet is 2 meter by 2 meter. No? So that means our area is equal to 2 meter times 2 meter which is equal to 4 square meter. No? So meron tayong given area dito. Okay, so that means kompleto na yung mga given natin para masagutan natin yung ating question. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. So, sagutan muna natin yung unang okay, requirement natin. So, ang kailangan natin makuha is yung heat flux. And heat flux is equal to the rate of heat transfer over the unit area. So, that means using our Fourier's law, Q over A is equal to K T1 minus T2 over delta X. Okay, so pwede natin ngayong i-substitute yung mga value natin. No? So, we have Q over A is equal to our K which is 0 0.029 watts per meter Kelvin. Okay, times... Okay, ang ating numerator here, we have delta T which is 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, but we know that delta degrees Celsius is equal to delta Kelvin. No? So that means we can write our numerator as 10 Kelvin. So we'll write it here as 10 Kelvin. And then, ang ating delta X is equal to 20 millimeter. Then, converting this to meter, we have 1 meter or 1,000 millimeter. So, therefore, our heat flux Q over A is equal to 0 0.029 times 10 divided by 20 and then times 1,000. And this will be equal to 14.5. 0.5 watts per square meter. So, this is our answer for problem A. And then, sasagutan natin itong problem B, in which pinahanap naman sa atin yung rate of heat transfer. So, our rate for heat transfer is equal to Q. Okay, so that means this will be equal to Q is equal to A, K, our T1 minus T2 over delta X. And we have already a value of this. So we'll have here Q is equal to our area which is 4 square meter times 14.5 watts per meter squared. So this will be cancelled out. Therefore, our Q is equal to 58 watts. And this is our final answer 
for this problem. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.